Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Several weeks ago, I got this uh, lithium polymer battery. I had four of them. One of them uh, does not work. This is for my drone S1000. So I decided, well, why not just recycle it? But then I thought to myself, this battery costs, if you buy new, around $500. So, and there's six cells, right? There's six different uh, cells in here. Now, if it doesn't work, uh, maybe I could reuse the other four or five of them. Hopefully only one of them is dead. So what I did was I took it apart and I found out that yes it is. There's only one that's not working so I end up recycling that one. But the other five still hold its juice. Can charge up to four or more volt. 4.2 is the maximum you want to be able to charge it on. So I'm like uh, I better keep those because you know this is a so I took it apart, so this is one of them. This is like 3.7 volt. It's like the typical uh, lithium battery, right? Except it's very large, right? Because it can hold 22,000 milliamp hour. That's translate to, if you know you fully charge this, this is translate to about 88 watt power. That's amazing. I went to um, Variety Computer Store and see if they have a, a battery bank, you know, those big battery bank. And the largest one that I have is, I've seen is um, was I think 15,000 milliamp hours. This is 22, and I have five of them from here, right? Amazing. So I'm like, okay, I can use this for recharging the battery. And the one that uh, that was selling the store, uh, 15,000 milliamp hour, was uh, on sale for fifty dollars. So this thing, you know, has a value at least fifty dollars. Now, mind you, you have to hook it up to uh, different you in modular system to you know to charge your cell phone or your smartphone right so you have this module and I have that and I'll show you later on uh, where I can just hook it up and charge my uh, smartphone my tablet and all that now in order to charge it uh, the battery what I did was I get one of these AC adapter normally they you know it's a USB to AC and uh, basically using a USB plug into these AC adapter to charge it now I would be, I would be careful be, be very careful with these type of uh, lithium battery because they're, they're very, very powerful remember it's 22,000 milliamp hour and uh, it can carry up to uh, 88 watts of power so you know if it you know heats up or uh, you know when the short circuit this thing is very dangerous so be careful with that one so my suggestion is when you are charging it up try to be as safe as possible so what my technique is I have this uh, 2 amp 3.7 volt uh, AC adapter so what I'll do is I'll charge the um, lithium battery from let's say 3.1 volt all the way to 3.7 or 3.8 volt at 2 amp right per hour of current and then after it reaches about 3.7 uh, 3.8 I will then use a uh, less powerful um, charger which is uh, 1.0 amp hour of current so what's going to happen is first you accelerate the charging with 2 amp then 1 amp once it so 1 amp when you go from 3.8 to 4.0 volt when it reaches that when you have to monitor you also have to monitor the uh, the voltage do not leave the lithium battery on its own always watch the voltage as it climbs up Okay, so do not leave it alone. Don't let it just charge on its own, because this is a do-it-yourself type of charging, and there's no uh, circuit that will protect it from overcharging. So you have to be there all the time. So that's what I had to do. I had to, um, you know, when, while I'm doing my activity, I have this monitor, this um, voltage monitor that will keep track of, you know, the voltage on this thing. So when it reaches um, four volt, I switch on to this AC adapter and it's running the current of 1 amp and I let it run until it reached about 4.15 to 4.17 never exceeding 4.2 okay so 4.15 to 4.17 is the maximum um, voltage that I would get this thing to reach and then when that's done now you can when you reach 4 volt actually if you, you want to be more safe you want to get another adapter that's running at 500 milliamp uh, hour of current that would be bit probably better from 4 volt to 4.17 okay but 
you know, I was a little bit lazy. I just used two amp and then one amp. So two amp at uh, between three to uh, three point seven or three point eight, and then one amp for three point eight all the way to four point one. Uh, voltage and then if you want to be more safe then get another one that's 500 milliamp hour from 4 volt to 4.17 volt charging that uh, all the way up to that voltage okay and now you can use this battery for charging your tablet your smartphone and so on in fact I was looking at the spec for the other uh, lithium polymer batteries that was on sale uh, that was 15,000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt uh, they say on the spec anyway, it was able to charge a typical smartphone up to seven times. Now this is actually 22,000 milliamp hours, so I'm sus uh, suspecting that this probably can charge at least eight times. So I'll, I'll be happy it could do six, but it can do six to eight, you know, all the way to even nine. Oh man, that'd be amazing because I have five of this free, right? I mean, instead of recycling, I can reuse it to charge my electric electronic devices whether smartphone tablet whatever It'd be great for camping and all that carry a couple of these and then hook it up to one of my charger and I will have a lot of ample of energy and if I have a solar panel a tiny solar panel I think I have one that can charge a 3.7 volt uh, battery so if I have uh, that and hook it up to this <laughs> yeah so I can have this on my knapsack and uh, I can charge this up and then rehook it to my uh, smart devices and charge those and I have almost infinite amount of power. And this is actually very portable, you see? It's just a battery and you just put it away in a plastic container and all that to keep it safe and dry. And then when you're ready to use it, just hook up to the uh, charging system and you have a couple of these and like, you know, could just replace it. Like just like a battery, right? But you know, you can charge this uh, or recharges hundreds of time. In fact, I think for lithium battery, you can charge up to uh, ideally about 400 times before it loses maybe 30-40% of its uh, capacity, but still amazing. All right? Yeah, so don't throw away your lithium polymer battery. Just be careful when you take it apart. Always do it outside and, you know, away from any type of enclosed and when you know if it's Pfizer hazardous, you just make sure that you're in a space where you can let it just run on its own when it's heating up or you know firing up, right? So keep safe when you do these type of stuff. Uh, but it's worth it because this is a very powerful battery, lithium battery. Uh, again, you know can charge your smartphone up to eight times, if not even more, for a 22,000 milliamp hour lithium battery system. Cool, and I have five of them. Alright, thanks for watching educatetube.com